Yeah, uh, it did go wrong, that's for sure. Um, you know, today is obviously disappointing, but it's always a tough ask coming to Mumbai. Uh, we, we don't obviously have a great record here, so yes, it would have been nice to win today and get through, but I think, you know, to finish up where we did is probably what we deserved, uh, given the season we had. You know, we had a very good start, um, but then fell away badly through that middle phase of the uh, tournament. And, you know, if you look back on our season now, the two missed opportunities where we had, you know, a really good opportunity to, to shore up a spot in the playoffs was probably the games against RCB and at Rajasthan at home, where we have played well throughout the season. But to lose those two games, they're always going to probably come back to hurt us at the end. And when you look back at the end, that's what probably catches up with you when you don't win your games at home, where that wicket suits our, our style of play and particularly our batsmen given how flat it's been this uh, season. Oh yeah look I think people always go looking for reasons why things aren't going to plan on the field and there's no doubt I mean you can't hide from the fact that there was some tension out in the field um, that, that was pretty evident in the last I guess few games after we got on a bit of a roll with the losses um, so you can't hide away from that oh, we've got to address that um, as a group because what is so important in this IPL uh, tournament is the dynamic of the group and that, I guess, the unity. And that's something that KKR is very, very proud of. Um, it's a very successful franchise and it's something that everyone involved has worked very, very hard to contribute to over a long period of time. And so that's something that we have to certainly work out to get better at uh, moving forward because there's no doubt throughout this campaign, um, you know, we, the, the dynamic in our group certainly changed. No, look, I think whenever he, he's entered the fray, it's always sort of been, you know, from the eight to nine over mark onwards. I mean, we lost our first wicket today straight out after the power play. So um, and given the way the wicket was playing against the newish ball, you know, that's Robin Utapa's role is to bat at the top of the order. Um, unfortunately, it didn't happen for him today. But, you know, in terms of uh, the way that Andre's gone about it, he certainly enjoyed the freedom of coming up the order. Uh, when we've done that, particularly in the last few games, where we've, we've pretty much had nothing to lose. Every game for the last three has been a playoff for us um, because we had to win them all. So, you know, he did a very good job when he came up. Today wasn't his day. I mean, credit to the Mumbai bowlers today. Um, they're a class act. You know, all their quicks. I mean, Hardik Pandey was outstanding today. A couple of big wickets. Boomerang, Malinga. Uh, and that, as we've seen in this tournament, experience counts for a lot and, and they outclassed us today with the ball. So, um, you know, obviously guys weren't trying to, to miss out, but uh, their plans today were very good. Um, you know, they exploited the conditions well. It was a slowish wicket and uh, at the end, you know, we weren't good enough. Yeah, look, it's hard to know. I wasn't batting for him. <laughs> you know, you can't bat for anyone and, and you can only see what you see from the boundary line. Uh, it just looked like, you know, they did bowl well, but at the same time, you know, in terms of the timing of losing wickets and, and the intent, you know, we probably took us a long time to get that intent. I thought Nitish Rana was outstanding when he first came to the crease. He showed that intent right from the word go um, to put some pressure back on the bowlers. And um, that's sometimes what you have to do in this form of the game. You know, it's not easy to, to just bide your time and, and hope that you can play catch up at the end. Mumbai are a team you can't really play catch up against because you know in the last five or six overs you, you're facing two or three overs of Boomer, two or three overs of Malinga, McLennigan or Hardik Pandya. So they're the sort of team, and we showed it at home, you've got to be proactive against them. And I thought we did it very well at home on a good wicket, but here we, we struggled. Yeah, look, it's, it's hard to pin it on one person in particular. Obviously, he didn't have a good night tonight, but you know, overall with our season, there were a lot of positive signs. Young Shubman Gill, Looks like a huge talent of the future. Um, he's done a variety of roles for us and played them all really well. I thought a lot of our overseas players perform really strongly. Um, and then from, I guess, you know, from a bowling point of view, young Sandeep Warrior at the end, I mean, I know he's not young, but he's still young in terms of his IPL experience. He showed a lot for us in these last three games. One of our biggest areas of improvement you know, going ahead has to be in the power play. You know, once again this year, we've struggled for, for wickets in the power play. And we're asking a lot of our spinners to come in and, and try and do the job when there's been no wickets fall in the power play or, or one wicket. So, you know, we do have three quality spinners. And unfortunately, you know, you can't always dictate terms with the spinners when you don't take wickets up front. But, but I thought young Sandeep Warrior did a very good job uh, when he came in for these last few games.